And we're picking this one up in the middle of the third quarter. Kenny, our photographer, shooting from the stands. The Greyhounds with a successful two-point conversion. Atascadero leads 15-12 with four minutes remaining in the third. Bearcats punting away from deep in their own territory. And it is Damon Mitchell on the receiving end for the Greyhounds with a spectacular run. He takes this 25 yards. How many Bearcats does it take to take down a Greyhound? I counted five. All right, same drive. Michael Trejo with the quarterback keep. He keeps the ball. That gets punched out by Bearcat Dylan Martinez off to the races. Max Rodriguez, he can't believe it. Matthias Willis is waving bye-bye to his teammate. What a run. What a play, 80 yards. And here's where the momentum shift kicks in. Paso leads 18 to 15, and the Bearcats are hydrated. First and goal at the seven, and this time, it is Brandon England, the ball carrier, touchdown. Bearcats, Paso leads 24 to 15, and that is a packed background of Bearcat fans, parents, and alumni in the stands. Bearcats get the ball again, and why not? Keep the kitties' legs hot. England with the ball from the 11-yard line. He has his second rushing touchdown of the half. He gets hit hard, but he ends up walking it off. A rivalry in its 105th year. Paso takes down a Tascadero 30 to 15 from a seven-game win streak to back and forth action. I am looking forward to this matchup for years to come. Atascadero heads to Templeton for another crosstown rivalry next Friday. Paso hosts Buchanan next week at 7.